हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ करण मेहता एंड आई एम इन थर्ड इयर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डी जे संगी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टूडे सब्जेक्ट फॉर प्रैक्टिकल इज डिजाइन विथ लिनियर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी डिजाइन ऑफ नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एंड इन्वर्टिंग कंपेरेटर वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी जीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर एंड अ टाइम मार्कर सर्किट एंड सैम्पल एंड होल्ड सर्किट सो ओपम एज अ कंपेरेटर कंपेयर्स द वोल्टेज बिटवीन टू ऑफ इट्स इनपुट टर्मिनल सो हियर एज यू कैन सी वी हैव provided a input voltage at one of the input terminal and we have provided reference voltage at the another terminal so it will compare the both of this voltage and accordingly it will produce plus v saturation or minus v saturation opam as a comparator is in an open loop configuration now here as you can see when the input voltage is greater than the reference voltage the output is minus v saturation because input voltage is provided at inverting terminal which in turn will produce a minus vset output so in inverting co comparator circuit we provide input at the inverting terminal and similarly in non inverting comparator the input is provided to the non inverting terminal and reference voltage is provided to the inverting terminal so here as you can see when the input voltage is greater than reference voltage the output is plus v saturation and when it is less than reference voltage the output is minus v saturation so this was inverting and non inverting comparator now let's draw the schematic and perform the simulation so i have already created the circuit for inverting comparator as you can see here i have provided the input at inverting terminal and reference voltage at non inverting terminal now let's check the output run the schematic so now as here you can see when the input voltage is greater than the reference voltage uh, at the output terminal minus vset is present and when the vref is greater than input voltage you get a plus vset at the output terminal now first let's check the non inverting comparator circuit so this is the circuit for non inverting comparator as you can see here i have provided the input at non inverting terminal and reference voltage to the inverting terminal Now let's run the schematic and check the output. So here now as you can see when the input voltage is greater than the reference voltage the output is vset and inversely when the input is less than vref the output is minus vset. So this was non inverting comparator. Now let's increase the value of frequency and let's observe the response for the same. So now I have changed the value of frequency to 100 hertz, and I have also increased um, and I have also decreased the time for simulation. Now let's run the schematic. Now, as you can see, the output is still almost similar to that of 10 hertz frequency. Now let's again increase the value of frequency. For this time, I will make it as 1 kilohertz. Now let's run the schematic. So now as you can observe here the rise time of the op amp has increased so it takes more time to change its state from minus v set to plus v set therefore at the output terminal we don't get a proper square uniform square wave this is because the slew rate of op07 op amp is more so if we need a proper and shaped square wave form we need to use a op amp whose slew rate is high so now i am going to show the same using a op amp whose slew rate is high so i have made the circuit using ltc op amp whose slew rate is greater than that of op07 so even at higher frequency the output of ltc op amp will change faster than that of op07 now let's run and verify this this is the output at op07 and this is the output at ltc so as you can see here the change in state of ltc is much greater than op07 and at this point there is a change in state the rise time for the ltc op amp is less and the rise time for op07 is very high so this is one of the disadvantage of using op amp in open loop comparator mode so this was non inverting comparator circuit so now 
let's see some of the applications of comparator so one of the application is zero crossing detector in zero crossing detector the frequency of output waveform is same as that of input waveform this we can do by making a reference voltage as zero because of that when there will be a change in input voltage from positive to negative there will be change in output stage so this in turn will give you output waveform whose frequency is equal to that of the input waveform now let's see its schematic so this is the circuit for zero crossing detector now as you can see here the V reference voltage is zero and here it is the input voltage now let's run and check the schematic now here as you can see the frequency of that of input voltage and that of output voltage is same so this was zero crossing detector so this zero crossing detector can be used where you need to convert a sine wave into a square wave and where the uh, frequency of both input and output wave should be equal now let's see some other applications of comparator so the another application is time marker generator so in this circuit we pro we produce spikes at the output voltages so these spikes are further used in digital electronics domain so in time marker circuit the output of a comparator is further passed through a differentiator which gives you positive and negative spikes at the output and further it is passed through a diode so that all the negative spikes are been cut out of the output and we only get positive spikes at the output so now let's see this in the simulation so this is the circuit for time marker now as you can see here we have used a comparator here then the output of the comparator is passed to the differentiator and then further it is passed to diode to clip the negative spikes now let's check this into the simulation so this is the input voltage this is the output of a differentiator and this is the output so now as you can see here first this sine wave is converted to spikes of the voltages and then using diode we clipped the negative spikes and at the output we get only positive spikes here positive spikes are showed with red color so as you can see v out is only positive spikes at the output terminal so this was time marker circuit and it has a very useful application in digital electronics so this is the sample and hold circuit in this circuit first the input is passed through a input buffer then it is passed through a n channel mosfet and then further it is passed through a capacitor and an output buffer and the gate terminal of this is controlled by a control voltage so when the high pulse is given at the gate terminal of an n channel mosfet the n channel mosfet will act as a closed switch so it will act so it will allow the input voltage to pass through it and the same voltage will be provided at the output terminal and along with that it will also charge the capacitor present here now when the low level voltage is provided at the gate terminal of n channel mosfet n channel mosfet will act as an open circuit so it will not allow the voltage to pass through it so for that amount of time the voltage across capacitor remains constant and the same voltage is provided at the output so as here you can see in the output the time for which voltage at gate level is high the same voltage is passed to the output terminal and when the voltage at the gate terminal is low the voltage at the output is kept constant which is the voltage across the capacitor now let's check this circuit in the schematic so this is the sample and hold circuit now as you can see here we are using a ltc 6244 op amp as the frequency of op operation is very high we need a op amp whose slew rate is also high so now let's run the schematic and see the output this is the input voltage this is the control signal and here is the sampled output so now as you can see here when the control voltage is low the voltage at the output remains constant that is zero which was the initial voltage 
once the control voltage is high the output voltage is equal to that of input voltage it will remain the same till the control voltage is high now as soon as the control bi voltage becomes low again the voltage across the output remains constant so this was the circuit for sample and hold circuit so in this experiment we saw some of the applications of comparator such as sample and hold circuit time marker generator and a zero crossing detector we also saw the circuit of non inverting comparator and the inverting comparator and while simulating we also saw that comparator has a drawback which is due to the less slew rate of an op amp so this can be further overcome by using an op amp whose slew rate is a high so this was the comparator experiment the link for the simulation files are given below in the description thank you